Hi guys, it's Mr. B here, and today in our maths video, we're going to be looking at adding one digit numbers all the way up to three digits, okay? So I'm talking about a one digit number, I'm talking about a number that only has one digit in it, like a three or a two, anything like that, okay? I'm talking about three digits, I'm obviously talking about a number, like let's say 112, that has three digits in it, okay? So we're going to be looking at how to add those together and how we already really know how to answer those. So we're going to take it in steps so I can show you how you already know to do really big sums like these ones we have at the bottom, okay? So if you've been working hard on your addition, you will know these type of things, okay? So we have two plus two. Now, easy way to do two plus two is either we know it straight away because we know how we've been practicing loads of our sums, or we count on from two, don't we? Two, three, four. So we know we get to four from two, okay? And again with a three plus four. Three plus four, we can either, what I always do, okay, is we either obviously know it off by heart, okay? Some of you can see that, say, oh, no, four plus three, I've done that loads of different times. Or you can count on, but what I always do when I count on, Although it's three plus four, I'll count on from four and I'll count on three. Because remember on an addition, we can swap these around and it's easier to count on by a smaller number than a bigger number, isn't it? So I'm gonna start at four, five, six, seven, okay? And you'll all be thinking, Mr. B, this is easy. And that's great, because we're gonna see why that's gonna help us to be easy with our harder sums. Now I've got some other sums uh, here, which we call, um, we've got seven plus four. We know this is gonna be bigger than 10. Okay, and the reason we're going to know that is these are really important to learn. Okay, these are our number bonds to 10. And what that means is two numbers that when we add them together equal 10. So you've got 1 plus 9, 2 plus 8, 3 plus 7, 4 plus 6, 5 plus 5. And then you can see, like I said, we can sort them over. So we have 6 plus 4, 7 plus 3, 8 plus 2, and 9 plus 1. Okay, those are important to learn because when you get them in your head and you can remember those, when you look at that, you know when I know 7 plus 3 equals 10. So if this is 7 plus 4, then it must be more than 10. And that's important. That's going to be important. Obviously, important to remember here, but it's going to be important for us to learn later on. Now, at the minute, you might just think, Mr. B, well, I'll just count on, which you can 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Of course, we can use our fingers and count on. But knowing that that number bond, okay, is bigger than 10 is going to be important and going to help us later on some harder sums, okay? So again, these are important. And again, we've got our nine plus five, but I know nine plus one is 10. So nine plus five must be more than 10. So again, I can count on nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 40. So some simple sums there, just two one digit numbers. Oh, nearly wrote 44. Two, uh, four one digit numbers, we can do them. I'm sure you'd have been able to do them all yourself as well, wouldn't you? Okay, so now we're going to look at, and we're going to go to two digit numbers first. And I'm going to show you when you're adding a one digit number, okay, to a two digit number, I'm going to show you an easy trick to do it. So, when I'm doing this, I'm only going to look at these two numbers, okay, two plus two, okay, because I'm adding a one digit number, I know that I'm not adding anything to my tens column, okay? So I don't have to think, oh, what am I gonna add under that? I just have to say, right, well, what's two plus two gonna be? Because I'm only gonna change, in this instance, my one digit number. And I know I'm only gonna change my one digit number because I know that two plus two is less than 10 because I know my number bond, okay? So two plus two is four. So I keep my 10 the same and it's four. Have a look, it's the same as the sum that we did there. And we can see the four is the same there. So if you can do two plus two easy, you can do 32 plus two easy. Let's move on to our next one. We've got three plus four. Oh, wait a minute. One digit number will add none. So let's look, three plus four. I've already worked that out by count none, it was seven. So my tens doesn't change. And then it's there, 47, okay? Now I could count on as well. I could start at 43 and go 45. 46, oh, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. Even I made mistakes, that's why we double check our answers. So we start at 43, 45, 40, uh, 44, 45, 46, 47. So I can count along if I can count there. 
okay? But I can also use my three plus four as well from what I knew then. Now, carrying on with these ones would be easy, 32, 33, 34, and the one that I've just done there. But these ones are a little different. Now, because we have seven plus four this time, I know that my number bond is gonna be more than 10. So I am gonna to have to change my tens column, but it's still only the seven plus four that I need to think about. Now, again, you can count on to 87, 89, count on like that to get the answer. But it's always best to have as many strategies as possible. And what strategies means is different ways to answer sums. And some of them are quicker than others. So sometimes these can be quicker because you're just doing seven plus four than actually counting on and that make you make less mistakes. So we've got our hundred tens and ones here. Now I haven't put my tens in, I've got my ones. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there has eight tens and seven ones, 87, and I'm gonna add four on. So if I add four on here, one, two, three, four. Now if I look at that, I can see that I now have 11 in my ones column, and I can't have 11 in my ones column, can I? Because I can only have one digit numbers in each column, I only have one digit there, so I can't have 11. So what we've done there is because we've got 11, we've got one 10, haven't we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I can take away those 10, and take them away, and put it into there. And then that means I have one left there. So now I have nine tens and one left, which means I have 91, okay? Now if I count it on, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. Yeah, I've got my right answer, okay? But if we have a look up here, if we'd done seven plus four, we would have known that seven plus four is 11, which is gonna be more than 10. You know, if I had two digit numbers, it's never gonna go over 20. So I could have said seven plus four is 11. So because I'm going over 10, I've got my one from my 11, and I'm gonna add one onto that one, okay? So that's another way to do it. We're gonna look at a third way to do it with this one, 19 plus five. So we know that nine plus five is gonna be more than 10 because we know our number bonds. So because we know nine plus five is gonna be more than 10, we know we're gonna to have to change the tens column as well as the ones column. Now the tens column is always gonna go up by one. So that one I know is gonna become a two and I need to work out what my ones digit's gonna be. But here's another way to do it. What I can do is I can look at my nine, I can look at my nine plus five, and I can use what I know about my number bond to try and make this quick. So I'm adding five on. I know that I need to add one to nine in order to make it 10, don't I? Okay, so if I add one to that, I would have 20. And that would mean if I took one away from my five, I have four left. So now I've got 20, plus four, which is an easy sum for me to do, and I've got 24. And that's a really quick way to get uh, your answer once you get used to it, okay? Don't worry if you're still counting on your fingers for now, this is what we are aiming to get to, okay? It's always gonna have a goal, I'm gonna get to there, I'm gonna be able to do it that way, okay? Because it's about learning number bonds, you haven't learned your number bonds yet, you would just have to count on. But when you count on, you're more likely to make mistakes because you're doing five things, you're counting on five, Whereas this way you could say, right, I know nine plus one is 10, so that would be 20, and that would leave me four left and I have 24. So now let's use those same tricks on our three digit numbers. 132 plus two. Well, I know my hundreds column is not gonna change. I know my tens column is not gonna change because two plus two is less than 10. So I know two plus two is four, so the end number changes to 134. Or I could count on 133, 134. Jobs are good. And have a look, because those two, two in the end, two, 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 the last, Desmond, two, two, those last numbers are all fours. Okay, sorry, that's a, a, a bad joke. You won't know who Desmond, two, two is. Okay, again, this one, three plus four. Is three plus four gonna be more than 10? Let's have a look. 3 plus 7 equals 10, so it's going to be less. So I know that my hundreds and my tenths stay the same. 
and I've got 3 plus 4, which I know already is 7. Okay, so again, I don't have to go 343, 344, 345, don't have to do those big numbers, which some people can count really easy, but I can just do 3 plus 4, which I know that you can all do. Now we're getting on to these ones. So we can do this the same way. 7 plus 4, we already know because we've done it before, is going to be more than 10. It's going to be 11. Okay, so you've got 7 plus 4, so I know that's going to be 2. Because my 10s, this is going to be more than 10, is going to go up 1. And then I know I've got um, 7 plus 4 is 11, so 1 is the last digit in 11, so 261. Again, you could count up. And then lastly, let's use our FAST technique. So 819 plus 5, we know is going to be more than uh, 10, 9 plus 5. Okay, so we know that we've got 9 plus 5. Okay, our 8 is going to stay the same because we're not going anywhere near the hundreds. Okay, we've got 9 plus 5. So we say, what do we have to add to um, 9 to get to 20? Um, we'd have to add 1. Okay, so that would give us 820, and then we would have 4 left, so we put our 4 on, okay. And let's, let's do another one where we don't have the previous one to help us and see how we can do it. So, we could do, let's pick 6, 5, 7, and we're going to add uh, another 7. Okay, so... First things first, I'm on one digit, so these are the numbers I'm looking at, 7 plus 7, okay? So I'm looking at 7 plus 7 now, I can count on 7. I could do uh, 7 plus 7, and then add it on to 650, okay? I know because 7 plus 7, look at my number bonds, 7 plus 3 is 10, so this is more than 10, so I know my 10 is going to go up one. These little things help me with my maths to get quicker. So what we're going to do is, what do I have to add to 7 in order to get to 10? It is 3, okay? Okay, so if I add 3 to that, I would have 660 to get to my next 10, okay? So 7 plus 3 would get me to 10, which means my... Tens column is going to go from 5 to 6. So now I've got 660. And I'm adding, what have I got left? I've used 3. So 4, 5, 6, 7. I've got 4 left. So we have that easy sum. 660 plus 4, which would be 664. Because 0 plus 4 is 4. So our answer is 664. Now some of those last couple of techniques that we were using are difficult to learn. They do take a lot of practice. Okay, if you get the right answer in your sum by counting on, brilliant. You can use whatever method you want to in maths to get the right answer. Okay, so if you count on to get the right answer, it doesn't matter which way you've done it, you've got the right answer. The reason we're looking at these other um, strategies to do them is that now when you look at them, you might think, oh, they don't look easy to do, that will take me a long time. But when you master them, when you get really good at them, they are quicker than counting on. So these strategies will get you the same answer, but eventually when you learn them, they will help you to get quicker. And that's the most important thing to get efficient, which means quick and right. But the first thing we ought to be is right. Once we're right, we can focus on getting quicker. Thank you very much for watching the video today. I hope it's helped. And if you need any more help, let me know. Till next time, see you later. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. As the same goes, I think, you've got to smash that like button if that helped you. And I hope it did. Um, if there's any questions or anything else that I can help you with, you can put it in the comments below. I try and help out. Or you can contact me on MrBiggins123 on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And I'll try and help you if I can. Okay. Uh, obviously, subscribe as well. You can see all the videos as they come up. And they might help you with other things that you are doing with your work as well. Until next time. See you later and stay safe.